Whoa, whoa, that's mine. Whoa, what are you doing? Is Liberty dying where you live? Escape to Keen at freekeen.com. Here at Ward 4, here in Keen, and i uh, been handing out these flyers all morning out here in the election area. And somebody came out to tell me that, uh, somebody who you know, was a voter came out to tell me that they were told that they had to give this up. They were confiscating them uh, when they walked in the front door. Another election agent here told me that it was electioneering. So I went and I, of course, you know, they can say whatever they want and there's no negative consequence to them for saying whatever they want. So I have a feeling he was totally bullshitting and I actually checked their own laws and he is. So I'm going to walk in with a flyer in the hand and see what happens. Are you registered here? Yes, I am. Okay. Yes, I am. And you have four. I am, yeah. And I uh, do you not have a photo ID. Oh, whoa, 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 that's mine. Whoa, what are you doing? Excuse me, that is my flyer. Excuse me, that is my flyer. Go grab that I guess I'm having my picture taken. What? What is all this about? I'm not passing anything out. I was taking notes. We're we're on vote. You can't do that either. And uh, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry you, you, need, you feel the need to stage something, but you can't according disrupt. To, there are many according people to who? According Excuse to who? me, ma'am. Are you here to vote? <laughs> are you registered? Come this way. Wow. Maybe I should get another flyer? I... I mean, that's ridiculous. Hello, I'm again, Sarah please? McMurphy. I'm the moderator for Ward uh, come this 4. Way, please. State uh, law says to vote that there is no campaign material allowed beyond a certain point. Can you show me that law, please? Yes. Great. Uh, are you registered to vote for Yes. I think that uh, someone has misinterpreted things. As I understand it, having read your electioneering uh, codes, there's no campaigning allowed behind a certain point. But an individual walking in with personal materials, uh, the papers are not allowed to be left in the voting booth. If you keep the paper so that it's not displayed, you may take it into the voting booth, put it back, and walk out with it. Well, this woman is grabbing it from my hand without telling me anything about being able to put it away. She simply snatched it out of my hand. I think she did that just for expediency because it's a very busy election. We're trying to keep things moving. But did you, had you put it in a pocket? I had it in my hand. She grabbed All right, it from my well, hand. She I didn't believe, say one thing to me. I believe the sign that says... Campaign materials cannot be brought in is probably beyond oh, this point. Can you show me that sign? I I will in just a 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. here. There's one there. And then Ward for, ward for a polling place sign. And then a no campaigning beyond this point, which of course I was simply walking in with something to help me vote, so that's not campaigning. Now their claim is going to be that simply by having something that says something voting related on it that that would somehow influence people that are in there. By the way, the volunteer who snatched my uh, flyer is walking by right now, so there will be someone different inside. She just took off. They asked her to leave, apparently. Or maybe it was coincidentally the end of her shift. Either way, I now have a folded uh, flyer as we walk in. They won't be able to claim anyone can see any kind of message on this. So we'll see how they uh, behave this time. It's an intimidation, uh, simply an intimidating tactic that they're using. It's total BS. There is no law that backs it up, as was proven thus far. She couldn't find the law in her uh, precious law book there. So they just do whatever they want to, as long as they can get away with it. And of course, most people don't know their rights, so they'll get away with it with most people. Good to go. So what do we learn today? When people stand up for their rights, they get to keep them. And when they don't, they'll be oppressed. We're back here with Sarah, uh, who just got a call Hi. back from the Attorney General's office. Uh, from the City Clerk's oh, office, City actually. Clerk. And they said it was uh, 659 colon 43 that uh, one cannot distribute or post uh, campaign information past a certain point. Within the, yeah. Um, and you're interpreting that to mean as if somebody just has something in their hands that that is distributing? We, we always have, mm -hmm. yes. You had said that to distribute does not include to hold something in one's own hand when walking in to go vote, correct? Right. As long as it's being held in your hand and not like held up as a 
poster to somebody. Hey, I did apologize. Um, Thank you for the fact that it was that it was taken rather rudely. I appreciate that. You're welcome. Thanks, Sarah. Right. I'll let you get Good back to, to work. You. Have a nice day. Thank you. Yep. Bye now. All right, we're back here at Ward Four with Daryl Perry. And I just finished explaining to you, Daryl, what they were doing earlier with yeah, confiscating people's uh, flyers. Anyone carrying one of these in is now being harassed. Again, being harassed. They were being harassed earlier. Con uh, flyers being confiscated. And someone just informed us that that is still happening. So we're going to go and see what happens to you. Hello. Yes. Okay. Heard that you guys were taking yeah, we have information from people, even if they're taking it to use as. You can pick it up again. Yeah. Right, but people are using this so they know who to vote for. They're not distributing this in here, uh, and you guys are still taking a, it. Yeah, I don't want to Despite what argument. the attorney general has I'm not taking an said. argument about it. But just don't bring so it. So you, you guys are violating the law. I don't you're, think you're so. not allowed to take those from people. The attorney general already called earlier today and said that you can't take these at the door. We went over this again. That. This uh, this lady here knows what supposed the rules are supposed to be. Hello. We've got another problem here apparently. Yeah, apparently they're taking these again as yeah. people Ooh. come in. I uh, just had a lady walk out and inform us she had uh, taken from her. This man was about to take. Uh, well, if you've noticed, these are two new people. I had spoken to at least one. I didn't have a chance to, to speak to this one. These are allowed in as long as the writing on them is not obvious. So you may fold it and put it in your pocket or we will give you a piece of plain paper to put over it. You may take it into the booth with you. You may not leave it in the booth. And I did get a call, by the way, from the Attorney General Good. today, and she told me that my interpretation was correct on the definition of distributing. And so just having a piece of paper in here is not I'm distributing. I'm sorry, but until they tell me something, yeah. I can't, um, I have to go by okay. our past practice. One of our attorneys went over after you and I spoke to mm -hmm. make sure that it was clear with the election officials in Ward 4 that there was no issue with voters walking in with information in their hand that they might be taking into the polling booth to use for voting. I'm distributing these outside can, on the I, other I side. I just don't want your poll workers to be confiscating breath. stuff in violation of state law. I understand that and what they have been told but we've had our greeters change since I spoke to them last. So these are two new people. Right. Who they just weren't may informed. Not know. Right. So, there it is. You may certainly bring this in here, but it either needs to have a cover or you can fold it and put it in your pocket. Can you make sure the greeters are aware and stop confiscating right Thank you very much voter information? Yes. Thank you. That. Good night now. Yes. We'd like to invite you to visit Freekeen.com. Freekeen.com features audio, video, and blogs chronicling the transition to a voluntary society. Freekeen.com also has comments and discussion forums so you can be heard. Freekeen.com. I should be in Keene, New Hampshire with the Free Staters.